disappointing for the new trolls, but disappointing to lose, mate. Yeah, it is. It's always disappointing to lose, especially at home. But um, you know, I have to give them credit. I thought they they played very well. I thought the uh, the Manuel Thomas up front was was an absolute handful the whole afternoon. He, he definitely fancied today, and we said before the game he's going to be a big threat, and he was. And um, you know, we we sort of couldn't deal him second half. I think first half we, we we played well without actually being really convincing. But you win at one and a half time, you're thinking, okay, brilliant. The one concern I did have was the fact that it was. Um, after about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, it became really blustery, really windy. And it was there was an air favour first half. A new second half would become a lot stronger than it did. And I said to the boys at half time, I said, look, let's not make sure we we, we try and defend the edge of the 18 yard box because we we will um, we will concede ground and we will concede uh, space. So anyway, um, it's a bad day at the office, but you know, I thought the lads put a right good shift in. They worked hard for each other. We just lacked a little bit of uh, intelligence and one or two individual mistakes which have caused it today. And clapped off at the end there, which shows the fans are obviously happy and the desire was still there despite the result. Yeah, no, the fans were magnificent as, as, as they have been right the way through. As I say, just a little bit disappointing considering how well we've played um, over the games that we, we couldn't give them a win at home, which we've been, obviously, um, it's been a while since we've, we've, we've played at home. But uh, to be fair, I think they've they seen a really honest uh, shift from the players. And, but as I say, like, just second half especially, I thought we, we became... A little bit more real one, which, which certainly wasn't the, the game plan. You know, we wanted to pass the ball, especially when their boy went off at the back and they brought Flint on, who was six foot five. That's his game all day long. You know, he, he didn't look particularly comfortable in the ground. He wanted to get it out of his feet and just shell it as quickly as he could. So it was important we got down the side of them and we didn't manipulate that enough. Uh, we took the easy option, which was which was going into the box. But I think that's a little bit of lack of experience rather than actually. Um, Lack of responsibility because I think you know the the, the players have given a, a really good effort today, but we just we just weren't good enough. I said I said before the game, I said um, I said to the players, anybody who looks at this game and thinks it's going to be easy, and I, I knew for a fact it wouldn't be. Bristol City are a good side. I think this would be the turning point in their season now. They'll gain great confidence from this away from home, and um, and good luck to them. You know, I thought they were a, <coughs> they were a good side. I thought they set up well today. I thought their, their shape was was quite intelligent in the sense that they played a, a diamond with uh, the two centre forwards split on the outside, the very centre halves and. And uh, the 14 running off the middle of us, and, and it caused a problem for us to have. So we, we reverted then to a 4 4 2 and playing James Barrett on the outside of a, uh, a midfield three, which has gone from in to out rather than out to in. So, um, as I say, good luck to Sean. You know, he's, he's had a difficult period, and, and um, hats off to him today. Just shows that teams that do have those kind of players can just have one moment of class, and the game's changed. Yeah, well, I mean, he's got a hat trick today. and Every time the ball comes up front, you know, he's, he, he's still step ups. I mean, he's, he's an absolute unit. He must be 6'3. His shoulders are twice the width of mine, anyway. And um, he's obviously definitely definitely a huge handful. He's, he's got pace, he's got power, he's got ability on the ground. He's got a great left foot. And as I say, when he shows that appetite and desire, it's, uh, it's difficult to play against. But, you know, air strength has been the has been the team, the, the, the work ethic of the team, and the, and the intelligence. And um, as much as we showed the work ethic and the honesty and the, and the endeavour today, we. At times, lacked a little bit of intelligence, especially when we won the up. I thought we could have, um, first half especially, we could have got the ball wider and got got more deliveries and, and then been more aggressive about our our, our, um, our attempts to pick up the ball on the, on the edge of their box to get shots away. And we didn't do that. We we were reacting rather than being proactive. So, listen, it's a lesson learned. We 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 move on. Um, I've just told the boys, listen, we dust ourselves up and we go again next week. It makes Gillingham obviously all the more important, but it's a game that we're going to go look to win. And obviously.